I think it's time that we have a small discussion about a topic that a lot of players have different opinions on, and that is GDKPs. Hello, hello everyone, it's Ego, welcome back to the channel, and today we will be talking about GDKPs and my opinions on the infamous or famous, depending on your stance on it, uh, form of rating. So GDKPs, if you're not aware of what they are, is essentially a system where you can buy the gear for amounts of gold and then the global pot is split afterwards amongst all the players. Now, this was prominent for me when I went into Wrath uh, Classic, when I was in TVC Classic, and also the World of Warcraft Vanilla Classic. It seems to have really picked up recently as well, and there's many reasons for that which we will discuss in this video. Hey everyone, before we continue, just a reminder, be sure to sub to the channel and like the video down below. And don't forget that memberships are now available for the channel, so if you want some awesome perks, take a look at it in the description. Thanks everyone, enjoy the rest of the video. Starting off with the first point that I want to talk about in regards to GDKPs, and that is gold buying and gold selling. So GDKPs have really brought this whole system into light because of the way they operate. Now, in order to get the gear in a GDKP, you obviously need to have the most gold. What better way to do that than buying the gold? Now, a system has developed with GDKPs that I'm sure a lot of players have kind of picked up on, and that is a lot of the GDKPs are actually being run by gold sellers. Now, there's a reason for this. Let's say a player buys the gold. They go to a GDKP, they spend that gold, and then a portion of that gold goes back to the person who is selling it. Therefore, they're getting their stock back without having to refarm it. Now, a lot of GDKPs will actually have multiple gold farmers within the actual raid who will then put all of their splits from the pot back into the available gold stock. Now, because gold buying is something that is sometimes easy to track, sometimes hard to track, it's not clear to some people that, you know, the people they may be with are either gold buying or gold selling, but whenever somebody is dropping 30 plus K on an item, you can kind of make assumptions. Now, like I said, it's a vicious cycle. And this is the problem with GDKPs is because people will buy gold, have a deep, deep wallet, and will not give the opportunity because of the fact that they're buying gold it will not give the opportunity for people who are making gold through professions making gold through actually farming themselves or making gold through uh let's say other means right that are within the actual game and that are not against terms of service and stuff they're not able to compete with people who are buying from these gold sellers and then you know, like I said, the gold sellers are able to get a majority of their stock back through hosting GDKP. So it becomes just a vicious, a, a vicious cycle of buying and then going to a GDKP, giving it back to the seller and then the selling, the seller reselling that gold. And then it just becomes a cycle like this. Now, there's many other reasons that we're going to talk about. But this is the primary reason why GDKPs are not very good for the economy and for the game is because of the fact that it promotes gold buying and gold selling, which has a, an array of issues that can come with this. Like, for example, it can destroy the auction house markets. It can make it that uh, there's inflation because there's a lot more gold in the economy. So things that would normally be 100 gold will instead be like 1,000 gold. That's obviously an exaggeration. But you guys get what I'm saying is that there, there is reasons that there, that gold buying and gold selling is against her as a service. And there's a reason why. And that is the primary reason is because it can really mess with the economy of the game. And it's overall not fun for players who don't buy gold, right? Because then they're having to compete with the gold buying prices. They're having to uh, deal with this inflation and they're not able to make up as much gold as somebody who's obviously buys it. The next little topic or piece that I want to talk about in regards to GDKPs is actually how GDKPs allow players with the deepest wallets and the most gold to get the gear rather than players who actually deserve it and or are skilled or play more frequently. Now, to build on this point, I'm not saying that I 
you know, don't understand the reasoning behind GDKPs. I've done GDKPs before. You know, like you, you don't want to have to roll against somebody and lose out on the gear to somebody who, you know, is at the bottom of the DPS charts or something like that. I completely understand there's different reasons to be doing this type of raid. However, GDKPs are not always the best way to get the gear and the reason I say this is because of the fact that it allows the players who essentially buy the most gold um, to really just take away any opportunity for other players to gear up. Now, granted, if players have a problem with that, they could just go to a different type of raid. For example, main spec over off spec. They could go to, you know, 2SR. But it is still a point that I do want to put out there is that it becomes essentially a pay to win situation where the more that a player decides to pay for gold or the more that a player decides to even pay for runs because it's a whole nother thing but i won't dive into that because we're talking about gdkps but let's say a player who buys gold they buy thirty thousand gold forty thousand gold which does happen very frequently um players like that are essentially turning the game and the raid into a pay to win scenario where the more gold and the more money that they just that they decide to spend the more gear they will get and the more um powerful their character will become which tied into the whole gear score issue which i did make a video about which i will leave a link down in the description uh tied with that it becomes a again another vicious cycle of players buying gold getting the gear and then not very much knowing how to play their class or not understanding the raids because they're getting carried through it as buyers there's a lot of different issues that could arise with having gdkps and like i said it becomes a pay to win scenario and we all seen how retail became when it became more of a pay to win where you're able to buy unlimited boosts you're able to buy wow tokens which you could then exchange for gold which in a in a way is kind of like gold buying um but retail has gone down in my opinion a very um dark path i don't know if dark path is the best way to put it but it's gone down a very um uh interesting area that uh, a lot of players who played the original wrath and vanilla and tbc and all that stuff we kind of went away from it i know me personally i lost interest in it um as soon as cataclysm hit because that's when the pay to win started to kind of show its face a little bit and i didn't enjoy that now with dragon blight even uh if it's still the same game i find that they're going to be bringing back a lot of uh, little classic things like for example the new talent trees which i will probably make dragon blight videos but again we're on gdk piece here so yeah i think that it turns the game into a pay to win and that is not something that a lot of wrath players and classic players enjoy about the current retail game therefore it's not something that a lot of players will enjoy in the current wrath classic game now ways to combat this i'm not too sure if you have any suggestions on ways that blizzard could combat this put them down in the description or not in the description but in the comments because i'm interested to know what you guys think about this and how you think that gdkps can be combated because it is unfortunately something that a lot of players have to deal with nowadays so that's going to be it for this video everyone thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video you're an absolute legend and i appreciate you with all my heart now i also want to know in the comments what do you guys think about gdkps do you do them do you not do them do you like them are you just like indifferent do you not care i'm interested because i'm torn on this subject now you know there's two sides to every coin right so i want to know your side and as always if you enjoyed the content be sure to leave a like leave a sub on the channel i greatly appreciate it and as always everyone i will see you all in the next video